In the last year, we've been trying to develop and expand this idea of the Global Health Rehabilitation Initiative. And perhaps the primary focus has been around connecting people with people and people with ideas. So connecting people with people has been making connections and links across people within the city and even across with other universities and other uh, organizations in Canada who have this vision for global health and for incorporating rehabilitation in the vision of global health. We're very much wanting to incorporate students and have this as much as possible be driven by the energy and the enthusiasm of students. Ideally, what we'd have are these even stronger partnerships with organizations and entities in a variety of places so that we can make contributions in both directions. I think one of the key aspects of this is to build an identity here at SPOT around global health and rehabilitation so that the people that are working in different areas that would be considered global health, whether it's research or curriculum development or capacity building, that they can kind of see a home for the work that they're doing and that even that we know what each other is doing in the area of global health and rehabilitation. So the initiative itself, we've been now working over the past year and a half to kind of consolidate and bring it together. And it was born really out of our relationship with global health programs here at the Faculty of Medicine. And global health programs has been doing exceptional work to really amplify the work being done related to global health within the Faculty of Medicine. When we're talking about global health rehabilitation, we're really trying to stretch out uh, and think about global health with a particular lens, the lens of rehabilitation, where we're focusing not just on preventive or curative approaches to healthcare, we're focusing on rehabilitation as a health strategy, where we're trying to address questions of function and increase uh, function, functional independence, autonomy for individuals, often people with disabilities, and how can we work together to promote uh, functional capacities. And the global health lens is taking that beyond the way that we're usually thinking about it in the context of clinical practice in a particular uh, location and really stretch it out, ask questions at the transnational level. How can we learn from each other? What can we share? And how might these questions and considerations of global health rehabilitation um, transcend in some ways our experiences?